hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. And who would have thought? 50 episodes. Wow. Here we are. Man, thanks to everybody that's watched these, and they're so much fun to make, and I'm going to keep trying my best to keep on going. But hey, 50 episodes in, this has been an awesome run. Let's go out and do some thrifting. Woo-wee, here we are, episode 50 extravaganza celebration, and we're starting out strong. We got ourselves a gear up edition of the barricade for 350. This thing is super disgusting, but you know, nothing a little Lysol rag can't clean up. We're gonna be grabbing this thing for our buddy Garrett. He loves all the special color type of special edition blasters, so couldn't be with us for this trip, but you know, he's still a part of the trips. Gotta grab this for my buddy, and it looks like we got a dart stuck in there. Let's get that thing out real quick. Ah, there we go. Looks like we got ourselves uh, some type of Venture Force dart that was stuck in there. But yeah, it seems like this thing's in pretty okay shape. You know, I'll, I'll clean it up for him and hold on to it until the next time I see him. But going on with that, we also got ourselves an Ultra 2. Best I remember, he was also looking for one of these, so probably picking this one up as well. But hey, same price, not bad at all. 350 for this thing. Pretty sweet blaster, really like the design of that one. So yeah, we're gonna grab both of these, but we're gonna keep on looking around. Next up, we got a Zombie Strike. What is this one again? The Brain Saw. Yeah, dude, love this blaster. Just the whole saw gimmick. The blasting part of it, eh, not so much. It's only like, what, four darts that you can fire. But yeah, pulling that chain, seeing that spin. Super fun blaster. Love seeing that. Always got to spin that when I find one. Next up, we got ourselves, looks like a Busby blaster. Not too sure. And then we got one of the not-so-common Mavericks, uh, the blue and yellow. Five bucks, though. And somebody's modded that thing up with a carabiner, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, let's grab these two blasters. Let's keep making our way down. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a split strike. Looks like we, uh, it's half of one? Yeah, just half of one. And then up here, you know me at this point, if you've seen these episodes, I always got to check for rockets on these things. No rocket in the Fortnite launcher. I swear one of these days I'm going to get one though. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. And sticking with Fortnite up here, we got the ARL. Uh, missing its magazine, eight bucks. Eh, yeah, not, not anything I'm looking for right now. And then we got one of these X-Shot. I think it's the Exterminator. Uh, but yeah, these two little blasters here. Let's grab those. Good finds right there. Moving on to the next shelf over here. Let's see what we got. We got some digging to do. Uh, we got ourselves an Elite 2.0 Commander 350. So it seems like, you know, pistol size blasters are around 350, four bucks. So that's nice to see, you know, really good prices. Uh, up here we got one of these Nerf targets. This is a really fun one. I like that. A lot of fun. Lights up. Multiple games. Pretty cool. And then we got the strong arm over here. Let's check the price on this bad boy. Uh, if we can find one. Doesn't look like there was one. Uh, we got a yellow Maverick hiding back there as well. Mm, not seeing too much more sticking out. Let's see what we got. A lot of stuff to have to dig through. Here we go. We got the cross cut. This is another one of my favorite ones. If I find this, I gotta spin it. Yeah, buddy. Super satisfying. 350 also. Pretty pretty consistent pricings today. I'd like to see that. And then moving on down on the other end. We got a, a target here. And we got a couple of blasters hiding. Let's uh, deprime this one. We got the uh, dart zone. Blitz, blitz fire, I think. Blitz fire, right? Yeah. If not, let me know in the comments. But here we go. We got a dino target. You hit the little tongue, it makes a noise. Pretty cool. And it keeps track. Uh, I had one of these before that's like a, a bear and there was like a duck, but I've never seen the dinosaur one, best I remember, so this one's pretty cool. Uh, five bucks, eh, not too bad. Pretty cool though. Might think about that one. Um, let's see what we got hiding under here. Looks like we got a Doomlands blaster. What we got hiding? Looks like we got the Lawbringer, and I think that's five. Yeah, five bucks. Five bucks for a big blaster, so pretty good. Nice pricing on that. Uh, I think I'm going to put the dino back. We might be leaving that, so... Moving on to the top of the shelf, it looks like we got a couple more blasters. We got ourselves a Rival Knockout. Absolutely love this blaster. It's got a round in it too. 250, nice. Oh, look at that, two round. Really nice price on this, but I'm gonna leave it behind for some new beginner to have, so it has two rounds with it, that's really nice. Recon Mark II up next for 250. Wow, with some attachments, uh, that's really nice. It's kind of sun faded, but hey, not a bad price at all. And then down here, we got ourselves a Stormtrooper Blaster. It looks like at one point it was a Goodwill for three bucks, and then now it's been donated here for 350. So, eh, not too bad, but pretty fun blaster. I really like that one. Then sticking with the Star Wars theme, we got the Jin Urso, or as we like to call it, the Jinzo Blaster. 250 as well with a magazine. All right, now we're finding some good prices right here. That's what I'm talking about. 
This one is missing its battery. You saw it was taped up, but eh, oh well. Next up, we got ourselves for 350, back on the 350 train. We got an Aki Strike Blaster. Don't recall the name of that one. And then down here, we got a weird looking Busby Blaster. I, I don't think I've ever seen this before, so pretty interesting bolt action uh, thermal blaster, it said. Yeah, cool. Digging that Disney bouncy ball. That, that's pretty cool, too. Let's try not to have an avalanche. Keep on digging. Let's get this out of the way. It looks like we got ourselves a regulator hiding in here. Let's see this bad boy. See how much you are. 250. Ah, and again, missing the battery cover. Man. Ah, man. Stuff's falling everywhere. Gotta put this back. But yeah, 250 for a regulator. Uh, stay right there, boyo. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. And then up here, here we go. We're talking something I really love. You know me. I love myself a Strife. 250. Yes, sir. We're grabbing that. And it's the camo Walmart edition. Oh, yeah. We like that. And it's got a curved banana mag. Eh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, 250. Pretty nice condition strife. We're going to grab that. A couple other blasters up here hiding with it. Looks like we got ourselves a sling fire. This one is a ton of fun. Really like that blaster. They also did the same thing with the scravenger, but I feel like this one's a lot more comfortable. So, for about five bucks, sling fire, pretty good deal. Not bad. And then we got ourselves a Apollo. This one is the white camoed edition it's also got its magazine in it so that's pretty nice five bucks we'll be leaving that behind as well and then here we go we got ourselves it looks like a dart zone villainator for 350 if this thing had its drum i would have definitely grabbed it but it did have its stock so not bad pretty nice stock if you're going to use it on a spectrum in my opinion and then following that up we also got a blue knockout here it also has one round in it also 250 so pretty cool pretty nice find looks like there's just the one round in it though so leaving that behind as well I'm gonna go ahead and grab that battle camo strife. I'm gonna grab those other two blasters from my buddy Garrett. Really nice finds right here to start the trip off and let's head to the next store. All right, stop number two and it's looking pretty scarce. Oh, we got some shoveling pail, we got a big wheel, we got a ripstick, puzzles and board games. Hey, there we go, we got some sign of a blaster. Let's check this out. Looks like we got ourselves a Centurion, the Zack edition. Uh, you know, a new variant in my book. I've never seen this one. And it looks like there's no price on it, no magazine. So, Zack, uh, sorry you're staying here. Following up with the uh, viewfinder up here, but no pictures in that. So, we're going to go ahead and put that back as well. And usually whenever I look around, I don't film electronics, but check this out. I found a 3D printer, 50 bucks. Holy moly. Look at this thing. Check this out. Looking inside, it's an XYZ DaVinci Pro Jr. Uh, it's got manuals. It's got uh, the Bowden tube in there. It, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's the power supply even. Like, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm going to grab this thing. I'm going to get a cart, and we're going to check this out. Yeah, $49.49, plus it's 30% off. So it's only going to be around like 36 ish 35 bucks. So as, as long as this thing powers up, I think I'm going to get it. So grabbed myself a shopping cart, came over here, found an outlet next to some books, plugged the baby in, found the switch right here next to the power supply, and uh, yeah, check this out. We have life. Initializing, please wait. Oh, I'll wait as long as you want, Mr. Machine. Lifting up the lid, checking it out. Oh, there it is. We got lights, we got fans, we got life. Yeah, all right. Now then, the exciting part happens. Let's see if we can find anything else about this. Uh, I'm gonna go to utilities, and I'm gonna see if there's like a like an info screen, because usually it'll tell you like how much life is on one of the nozzles or something like that. But not really seeing anything. Hey, look at this, and then down below settings, we got ourselves info, let's check that out. Hey, statistics, here we go. Lifetime, wow, almost 900 hours on this thing. That's crazy. Last time it was used, it was on for 11 minutes, interesting. So maybe somebody else like plugged this in before I got it or something uh, here at the shop. But yeah, look at that fan spinning, lights are on. I'm willing to take the risk, 35 bucks. It seems like it's in good shape. What a find, definitely grabbing this. Let's head on to the last store. All right, final stop of this extravaganza and it's already been a wonderful trip. And we're starting out with something called an equalizer. Uh, pretty cool colors. I, I don't think I've ever seen this before, but there's two of them here. So let's just put them together over there. Um, yeah, usually I don't really check Goodwills, but something was telling me, you know, pop in. You never know. And yeah, I saw those, but up here I see a big box with Nerf on it. Uh, I was thinking maybe it's a scooter, like, you know, one of those like rapid strike scooters or something like that. I pull it down and holy cow, this is my holy grail. I've been looking for this thing for years 
and new in the box, 30 bucks, we got a Titan CS50, baby, for episode 50? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, look at this. Uh, yeah, I checked that label. It said it was delivered like a year and a half ago to somebody. And like, I guess the box was messed up and then they probably returned it and then that got donated. And yeah, uh, that's ridiculous. I am getting this thing. We're taking it home brand new. Oh yeah. And that'll do it for this trip. What an amazing day. Went home with a Strife and a Titan CS50 brand new. And on top of that, check this out. We got the XYZ printer printing it up good. Look at this baby. I ordered some XYZ filament. We got that thing going. We already got a piece printing out. Can confirm it came out really nicely, but yeah, wow. And $35, woo wee, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe here we are 50 episodes later. That's just amazing. Thank you again for all the support. Really appreciate it. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you want to check out some more of the thrifting adventures, click on that playlist. If you want to see some of my gameplays, go for that one. Thanks again. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.